What is going on? Charles Botenston here, and today we're going to be talking about criticism. We're going to be talking about all those haters out there, all those people that are just fly-by-night people on the internet, all the people that have big breast balls when they start leaving comments and they start criticizing, they start coming out of the woodworks, whatever you want to say, it doesn't really matter. To me is that, this is the thing, is that if you are not getting any criticism, you're not doing anything. If you're not getting any feedback, you're not doing anything. If you're not creating anything. You're, nothing is original. Okay, here's an example is that Evan Carmichael has a very successful YouTube channel and it's called, I think it's under his name. And essentially he takes a lot of pieces on the internet, all these videos, and he compiles it and he produces it. It's good. It's not original. In other words, yes, he obviously, in other words, it's not original content. He adds his own flavor at the end, but someone like Jordan Peterson, Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins, Gary Vaynerchuk, myself, and I'm not putting myself in that category, not yet, but if you think about it, anyone that creates anything original, it could be writing, plays, scripts, music, videos, YouTube, it doesn't really matter, blogs, everything that is created from the mind or compiled through the mind and out. In other words, for me is that I take a lot of ideas through my own thoughts and through my own actions, I produce an original video that I hope is of value to you. There's a lot of people that downvote videos. There's a lot of people that leave comments. There's a lot of people that criticize the videos. So that's the start of this, is that if you, there is, you have to start at the foundation. The foundation is that if there is no criticism, you're not doing anything. You're not creating anything. Am I saying to create something? Yeah, I am actually, because if you're going through the world and you're you're a business person, at one time you're gonna get feedback from your boss, from your manager, for from your client. If you're an account manager, someone's gonna say, I have a perfect example is that, so someone's gonna be taking over our BPI Instagram and our BPI lifestyle Instagram. We just came out with our second issue, or we're about to, I should say, or whenever you see this, we just came out with it. And one of the biggest feedbacks I had for that person that's gonna be taking it on is that I don't see this as original. You know, the feed that we're discussing are just compilation of videos and photos of just, it's just not as original as what I wanted, and that's feedback. And I said, this isn't bad. This is just known as feedback. So in other words, she's creating a completely new feed for Instagram based around the, the topics of health, wellness, happiness, you know, all these topics that we talk about. And through that whole transition of creating original ideas, and obviously designing it and coming up with the captions, there's gonna be feedback from me. So that's the first example. This is really where it comes down to. This is this is a quote that I saw. I forgot the guy's name. I'm looking down here. I, I, I he's a very well-known psychologist, and he came he came out with like the top 50 things that he's learned in life. I don't know where the post is. I would link it below, but it's been a while, and I've kind of been just going through it, mulling it over day by day. So listen to this. If someone doesn't have any good qualities or accomplishments of their own, they will start speaking bad of others. That is so powerful. If you ingest that and you actually say that the people that are giving, and, and I'm talking about, you know, if I'm playing football and Tom Brady gives me feedback, I'm gonna listen. But if someone who's a complete stranger, here, here's the best example, and I'll, let's read this again. If someone doesn't have any good qualities or good accomplishments, they start criticizing others because they look at them and they say, well, I don't have anything, for me, I I don't leave criticism. I don't leave bad feedback. I say, actually, based on my experience in real estate or making videos or design or thumbnails or captions or blog posts or marketing, all those things I've done for years. So I have a pretty good idea. It's always moving. It's always going. Things that I get on my videos and I really like, but that's such a powerful quote because listen to this. So I had a friend of mine, uh, so I sent out a newsletter and on there he said, he said something to the effect of my video, and it was it was something that he said, you shouldn't put this out, it's not that professional, and things like that. And this is a guy that's never made a video, in, he doesn't even have social media. <laughs> He's never made a video in his life, he doesn't have Facebook, he doesn't have Instagram. That's criticism that you just say, you haven't accomplished, and I'm not saying he hasn't accomplished anything, I'm saying the topic in which he's criticism, criticizing hasn't accomplished anything where I say, that's a good idea, or thanks for the feedback. 
yes, there are people that are your customers that are receiving it. You know, you guys, you send it all the time. Hey, listen, turn down the music or I wish it was shorter. I wish it was edited. I wish it wasn't edited. I wish it was, you know, whatever the case is, I take that in and I say, okay, what, what are most people like? If you're going throughout life and you're only getting feedback and you're only adjusting to them, you're not, as Seth Godin says, producing what you want to produce. Seth Godin talks about that all the time. He says, whether you're talking to a person of one or one million, if you are talking to one million people, it's very watered down. Once you get to a point, obviously, it could be up to a million, but you start watering down the music for the masses. But if you are just dialing in your exact message to the exact amount of people, it could be people in Iowa that like uh, rock music, you know, whatever the case is, very singular. I, I continued to write down a couple other notes before I pop off here. The lack of perspective of how good we have it right now essentially creates the criticism. So in other words, when someone says, my buddy, he said, I wish, I don't know why you're putting out these videos. It's not professional. You don't look professional. I don't know why. I'm wearing a suit and tie every single day. Maybe it was, it was maybe the facial hair, whatever that, it didn't really matter because I didn't take it, I took it with a grain of salt. Is the perspective for me is that if that is the worst thing that happens to me, someone says a good friend or family member or society or comments or whatever the case is, if someone says that and that is the worst thing that happens today, we have a pretty good life. We have a pretty good life. I just, I just hear words or a comment or something below. Seth Godin has also talked about he's never read a review on any of his books, good or bad. He, Cause he, he doesn't want to be affected by that. He produces his work. He puts it out, to, out into the world. Okay. Maybe he's an anomaly. I don't know. But Steven Pressfield has also talked about that. He said, when you make original content, you will get criticism. Whether it's from people that are good, people that are bad, from your customers, not from your customers. And the last thing is, if you continue thinking about this, if you continue listening to feedback, I make sales calls every single day. That's what I do. I get feed I just had someone literally I've been I've been communicating with this one person and his text message back to me this morning I'm on my computer right now. Text message, who are you? It's like, dude, we've been talking for months. What are you talking about? But he's that's that's who he is. He wants to test me. He wants to find out. And if he's not testing me, who gives a shit? If I'm thinking there, well, it's Charles Bootenston. I mean, we've been communicating for months. No, that's that's going down the wrong route. The, the biggest thing is see who it's coming from, see what the actual criticism or feedback is, and then adjust or don't adjust. You can take two routes. Go the Seth Godin and Steven Pressfield route, which is Seth Godin doesn't read any feedback, any criticism, he just produces original work. Steven Pressfield, author of War of Art, Turning Pro, a bunch of incredible books, Gates of Fire, I think is another one about, I forgot the name of the, Therm Thermopoly. I'm gonna totally, I totally butchered that one. But he says, if you're producing original work, Instagram, Facebook, quotes, doesn't really matter. You're gonna get criticism. If you're taking compilations of beautiful quotes and you put it on a nice background, you're not gonna get any, like what, come on, someone else made that quote or someone else made that post or someone else made that design or, or whatever the case is. If you're compiling, you're not gonna get as much criticism. That's the easy route. And the last thing is, if you take everything to heart, if you actually don't put it in perspective, this is the worst thing that something happened to you today, it's gonna to take a toll on your health. And only, only go down from there because then you're gonna start, as Linkin Park did, start watering down their music. Yes, music changes, writing changes, marketing changes, your, your message, your brand, your story, it changes. But if you're trying to go for the entire masses, you're gonna start playing old music like Linkin Park did in 10 years later, 15 years later, because they said, this is, this is our, our, our core audience. They loved it. It was completely original. Then they went a little mainstream and people were like, why didn't you go back to that? So they started trying to do both. And then unfortunately the, well, I don't know why he, he took his own life, but you know, obviously the, the lead singer, you know, took his own life and it, it's just the uh, Bennington, unfortunately, you know, I'm not saying that was the reason, but, and he had obviously, you know, from when he was younger, but it's gonna take a toll on your health if you continuously listen to criticism and you just go with that. Hope this helped a little bit. It's something that you have to put in perspective. All right, have an amazing day. If this is your first video, leave your comments below, leave your feedback, leave your criticism. Maybe the music's too loud, maybe it's not too loud. Maybe it's, maybe you want better music, maybe you want better content. Subscribe to the video, have an amazing day. Talk to you guys soon.